So hello and welcome all signs. This is going to be a reading of uh, how your person is currently feeling towards you. Uh, we will be starting with Lenormand and then depending on the energy we will pick a different tarot deck to clarify. Uh, make sure to follow and subscribe to know when I come up with a new reading and thank you all for being here. It means a lot to me. So with that being said let's begin so Aries let's see what your person is currently feeling towards you what are they feeling in this moment of time current feeling towards you Harris what's going on So Aries, I almost get the feeling that your person is seeing you uh, moving on, almost distance uh, yourself and just putting up walls. And it's like they want they want this to change yeah. like you can almost yeah they can feel you moving on So, Aries, uh, two stories here. So, the first one is that uh, your person is feeling that you are uh, distance yourself, and this uh, Ten of Cups is something like they will never, uh, like they feel like it's getting away from them uh, with a mountain here, and over the Ten of Cups is like. Uh, It's getting harder and harder for them to see this happiness with you when you are uh, like moving on and it's like they want to change this because they do with the lovers here over the uh, under the stork is they do uh, love you and they want this new beginning or this uh, this separation to change yeah so the, this that was for tho those in separation um That you may have been having some problems right now and they can feel it yeah. and they just want uh, things to change 
to go back uh, to normal. And for those who uh, are not in a separation, uh, then it is that your person is getting a little bit restless here with the King of Wands and the uh, Tower. Um, it's like they want to get you to going, uh, to do something. It's getting maybe too much of a routine in your relationship uh, it it can it it is a ten of cups so it can be solid and uh, no arguments nothing like that but maybe it's just a little bit too much um, like you become Like nothing happens almost it's uh, very almost in a rut so your person is feeling like they have they want to do something and it's it is with you it's not like they want to go out alone and explore it is with you but they want uh, it's almost getting a little bit uh, boring maybe it is uh, this routine that you guys got going on uh, so they want to make yeah so they maybe I want just to make a small trip or uh, uh, go visit something or someone together of course uh, that you two go and do something because they are getting a little bit uh, bored and feeling uh, uh, a little bit isolated so that's what I have for you Aries thank you and bye Taurus so let's see what uh, little fly so let's see what your person is currently feeling towards you Taurus in this moment of time what are they currently feeling towards you So they do see you as someone very important in their life, uh, Taurus, with the key here right in the in the middle. Um, and with the rider and the fox, this can be a, some sort of tactic that they are planning or uh, thinking of to make uh, either you open up or like they are considering uh, opening up more as well uh, if you are in separation they wanna they are thinking of a way to come back towards you uh, with the rider here and the fox uh, like going it through their 
head on how they can make you to open <laughs> the door for them almost uh, but for you guys who are not in separation it is uh, like some it's almost the same energy that they just wanna uh, want you to uh, uh, thinking of ways of how you can come closer we will clarify here Taurus to see more exactly what's going on Justice, the Hermit, and the Ten of Pentacles. <coughs> yeah, so this, uh, Taurus, uh, your person is just been thinking of something uh, quite much these days. Um, like really putting their mind to it. And I, this can just be a future with you like really thinking about uh, the future <sighs> so it's like So I don't see what they've come up to or what this uh, thinking has led to but it is important communication that they want to have with you. And it is that they have been thinking a lot of the future uh, really going inside seeking the answers and with the writer with and the hermit it's uh it's like now they are ready to deliver uh, or to have this uh, conversation they want to have an open conversation with you uh, And it is of uh, uh, great importance uh, for them. Um, so that's what I had for you, uh, Taurus. Uh, your person has really been thinking of uh, the future and they just want to have a honest and open conversation with you. Uh, an open conversation yeah where you speak uh, truly what you want so thank you Taurus Gemini so let's see what your person is currently feeling towards you what's going on here what are they currently feeling Towards you, Gemini. This moment in time. What are they currently feeling towards you?
So Gemini, this can be uh, someone new that you've been starting to talk to and they are just loving this whole experience uh, that they are feeling with you, uh, this new newness of it all uh, and it's It's like they want to know more. You're, you're uh, intrigue them. Uh, they can feel your warm energy, happy, loving person, and they just. Uh, it's like they can't wait to get to know you better. Uh, here, Gemini, and of course this can be uh, as well because the child is here. Um, a new beginning, a reconciliation with someone uh, and that is what they are hoping for because you are their son but we will clarify uh. so what Feeling towards Gemini. The star with the star. <sighs> King of Swords, Three of Cups. So, um, Gemini. This is. Uh, it can still be both uh, both uh, stories here, Gemini. Uh, but with the Three of Cups, uh, with the Sun, I do see it more as a reconciliation. Um, but of course you do have the Child with the King of Swords, so it is that they as well want to get to know you better. So I mean the both stories uh, do come in here. It can be a new person, I want to get to know you. Uh, and just loving this whole experience with you uh, can't wait to hang out with you more i don't want to see you uh, right away And with the stars, uh, under the stars, even if it is a new or old person, this is something that they really have been wishing for and hoping for. And it's like you, you uh, so they mean wishing and hoping for someone like you and here here you are it's going to be a very, very spiritual connection as well um, but, uh, it doesn't happen uh, that much that I do get the stars uh, with the star it's a uh, it's a strong energy uh, 
So someone can just hoping and really wishing for you to reconcile. And and the more they think of you and it's like the more the more they well the more they f see you as the son or feel you as the their son the more they fall in love the more they the more they feel your energy so it's a uh, It's a really good uh, reading here, Gemini. Uh, you are someone's wish come true, even if it is a new person or a, an old person. It's uh, so that's what I had for you, Gemini. Thank you and bye. Cancer. So let's see what your person is currently feeling towards you. The person you're dealing with, the person on your mind, what are they currently feeling towards you, Cancer? What's going on? What are they feeling? towards you cancer this moment in time the current feelings So, Cancer, they do see uh, it's like they are. I'm not sure if you block them, Cancer, uh, or if they blocked you, but this can uh, speak about just the uh, challenges as well in the in the relationship or a partnership um, but either way it's like they're having trouble finding uh, their peace again it's uh, so they are so they are hurt uh, if you blocked them or they blocked you or uh, they are confused and uh, having trouble uh, finding peace uh, something uh, like they can't relax without uh, you coming up in their mind and they start feeling this uh, problems again but well, we will let's clarify to see cancer are they feeling
Five of Cups and a mountain right above it. So I'm starting to feel cancer that you uh, you block them because they are feeling lots of regret here and with the we will see yeah, this person is having a hard time moving on uh, they're really trying to find their happy place again But you know, even whatever direction they are looking at, it's like they can't. They they are having trouble moving on. They can't let you go. really feeling the problems that you two have uh, on their shoulders and it is almost like they wanna start a new chapter uh, try to move on from this but he can't as they're still holding on to you and to this connection So, uh, that's what I had for you, Cancer. Your person is uh, really regretting this uh, decision or just regretting that they didn't do anything sooner to fix this problem. Uh, And it's almost like they want to... move on but he can't they just want to find peace again but it's uh, hard for them they're still holding on thinking about all the problems they cause because I do see uh, with this uh, strength uh, strength card is that she is uh, causing this uh, tornado here and with the mountain as well so that's what uh, on their mind that's why they can't move on they are still thinking of the problem they caused uh, this they caused their own environment that they are in now so 
so uh, that's what I have for you cancer your person is still holding on to you and holding on to their like they can't stop thinking about the problems and the things that they did in their in the past uh, it's like they are living in the in the envi environment that they caused now regretting regretting it thank you and bye cancer Leo so a person on your mind let's see what they're currently feeling towards you Leo what are they currently feeling towards you person on Leo's mind what are they currently feeling I will have to clarify this Leo <clears throat> straight away because I did get some stories uh, in my head um, yeah I'm gonna clarify before I uh, say anything unnecessary Let's see what are I currently feeling towards Leo. So Leo, this person is is feeling or wondering uh, if the things or the love that you two once had is uh, gone, or can you can you come to that place again where you once were? It's a uh, so this is uh, someone you've been or you have dealt with it's not a new person and uh, it's almost like they're wondering if you can bring this uh, happiness and like the yeah, happy house uh, life like the way you guys started this foundation uh, where you built this relationship on if you can come back to that place to feel this trust and 
just familiar where you both felt safe and uh, you are looking back at this time when you uh, had this this safety uh, where you could trust each other and really love each other and it's like they're looking back at it and we're wanting to resurrect it like they want to come back to this time where you were at most uh, the most happiest but it's like they are unsure if you will ever uh, come to that place again they might have been acted like a fool uh, done something foolish that's why they are thinking if it is gone distrust or if you can come back to it And of course with a fool here as well, it can just mean that they are gonna make an attempt to bring this back as well. Yeah. But I don't know if you're giving them a lot of resistance, Leo, because they are hmm, almost thinking or feeling that they can't like this what it used to be it's like it won't it will not come to that place again Uh, it's almost like the love I once knew is uh, is gone. So and that's what I had for you, Leo. Uh, thank you and bye. Virgo. So the person on your mind, let's see what they are currently feeling towards you Virgo. What are they currently feeling towards Virgo? This moment of time, what are they currently feeling towards Virgo? So Virgo, their overall energy towards you is uh, is love. Uh, I will clarify this, but it's uh, yeah, I'm gonna clarify it. Um, this can be just that they are going through something uh, uh, that they are going through something right now is disturbing their 
their peace but it's like they can feel the love that you are are giving them or they want to give you more but they can't right now I will clarify um, to see what's really going on here So Virgo, they wanna ex express more how they feel. This can't just be someone rushing in wanting to tell you, uh, "Hey, I, I just love you." But when we wanna tell someone that we really love them. It comes a little pause out of fear, thinking of all the ways it can go wrong. Um, but I do see them coming forward anyways, because you do have two. Uh, fast energies here but it is a small pause that they are taking uh, before coming forth and expressing this it's like they have to set the mood before they tell you with the lilies here Yeah, so this is a uh, wine and dine and just set the mood to be just perfect for them to tell you how they feel or wanting to take this to the next level but it is always a little hesitation and a little uh, scared energy that comes with that but they're just gonna do it so Virgo if you do have uh, dinner plans or you've been invited to some place uh, get ready Thank you and bye. Libra. So let's see what the person that you're currently thinking of is feeling towards you at this moment in time. What are they currently feeling towards Libra? person <coughs> on Libra's mind what are they currently feeling So you are uh, 
undermined Libra with the journal right here or they're just trying to find out more things about you but it's almost like when they picture you in their head they see this uh, this just happy and playful energy that just brings them joy so they do like thinking about you and your uh, and your energy like uh, who you are as a person it brings some happiness when they think of you uh, but we will clarify a little bit more here Libra to see what else they are feeling This can be just be uh, some uh, happy memory that uh, you two have together, and you just keep on thinking of that moment. Uh, but you are undermined. And of course, uh, <clears throat> when you are, uh, this is uh, someone you uh, are in separation with. Because when you do think of someone like this, like they are doing right here, uh, happy memories and just seeing you in their head, they do come up with uh, some regrets and this... Uh, uh, what have I done feeling with a five of cups here and justice is uh, it is uh, a realization of damn it what have I done So it is, they do have good memories and thoughts, uh, feeling happiness when they think of you. And when they do realize, when they come back to earth and realize that you two are not together anymore, it is, uh, it is a regret. And they are really thinking about you because you do have the seven of pentacles here as well under the journal. Really occupying their mind. Yes, yeah, they kind of know that, yeah, well, this is what I get. Because uh, justice is with five of cups, so they know. Uh, like this is what I have left almost, it's just this... Uh, beautiful memories uh, a lot a lot up in their head uh, and then just when they yeah when they waking up from their daydream they uh, do get sad 
and uh, feeling this uh, well with the five of cups with uh, feeling these regrets uh. yeah so that's what I had for you Libra it is a uh, your person is really uh, replaying happy memories joyful memories with you together really feeling your energy but and feeling that they missed out so thank you and bye scorpio what I lost my voice <laughs> Scorpio so the person on your mind let's see what they are currently feeling towards you at this moment in time what are they currently feeling towards Scorpio current feelings what are they currently feeling for Scorpio lots of emotions thinking about uh, it's like they do have lots of emotions towards you and they are uh, secretly thinking of if this will uh, grow or if this will last uh, Scorpio I will, will clarify to see what else this could have been started out as pure uh, physical as well uh, and they are like feeling it might be more Scorpio, um, it is someone that is still you still have a place in their heart, uh, but they feel and are really thinking about how they lost this opportunity with you. Uh, like why why did I dismiss this when it was something uh, stable like it was with with the three uh, three here it was growing into something but they dismissed it before it had a chance to blossom almost it's a uh, And just just now they are kind of 
trying to figure out why they did like they did uh, so I do see someone that that's uh, someone who left uh, without any good reasons they just uh, kind of left you or just this uh, situation they and they didn't move on they just left and it's just now hearing them like what did I do or why did I do this could have been uh, because of fear Scorpio because they saw you as someone really uh, if you look at this image I'm not sure if you can see it hold on I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer Mm, like that so if you look at this image right here you see a beautiful flower inside uh, this vase and someone is trying to pour water on it but it is just flowering or blossoming by itself it doesn't need uh, water so maybe that's what scared them it was that they saw you being this beautiful uh, flower they're trying to they're trying to it's what's like my love is not enough uh, for you Scorpio uh, you will manage just fine by yourself um, and that scared them But they're still holding on. It was a. I mean, it can be that uh, that's why they left. It's just uh, something that caught my eye here, uh, Scorpio. But it could be uh, any number of reasons why this person left. But it is they are realizing or really thinking about why did I just do that why did what happened so that's what I have for you Scorpio uh, of course this can be you as well that just left someone and they are uh, kept on wondering why you would do that Scorpio uh, so thank you and bye so Sagittarius the person on your mind let's see what they are currently feeling towards you at this moment in time what are they feeling towards Sagittarius What are they currently feeling towards you, Sagittarius, at this moment in time?
so Sagittarius you do have a person here um, standing at the crossroad thinking about shall I communicate or not will like if I communicate it will you you will have the like the upper hand and that's why they are conflicted if they shall communicate because they uh, are maybe af afraid of getting left on red or just uh, yeah maybe that you don't re re respond or that you will have the the, the the power, not the power, but the, yeah, the upper hand, like the ball is on your your court, and that's why they are hesitating with this communication. So we will clarify to see. See the emperor right here in the in the middle of the crossroad. Will you have this is uh, Knight of Wands? They want to communicate, uh, Sagittarius. It's like they want to communicate, but they know, like if they do, you will have the upper hand uh, you will be in control <sighs> but it's uh, it's like that's what they are currently feeling is that you will if they communicate you will have the upper power but uh, I do see it that they it, wo it won't matter uh, or this can even be you communicating first and that's why the, the tower is here because they weren't expecting it but they wanna they wanna communicate. And of course it just can mean as well that it, it in the end it won't it won't it won't matter for them. They will just do it because they have this uh, passion towards you with the snake and the king of wands here. They just uh, there's something about you. That they can't stay away, so they just gonna say, "Fuck it, I'm gonna communicate," even though they are giving you all the power here, and that's not something they wanna do. They wanna be in control as well, but there's something about you. That they can't stay away from so uh, that's what I had for you Sagittarius thank you and bye Capricorn so let's see what the person that you're currently thinking about is uh, currently feeling towards you so what are you currently feeling towards you Capricorn at this moment in time what are they currently feeling towards Capricorn
Yeah, I put corn. Well, this is nice. Uh, the thing about this, uh, I don't know if you have it or I like this. Uh, if you live together uh, or not, but they do. They are thinking about uh, just uh, this family lifestyle. Uh, uh, to have it with you uh, it just brings them joy thinking about the future and or if you already have it it's you just give them joy uh, so we will clarify because this is uh <coughs> it goes both uh, both stories if, if if you don't have this uh, if you don't are not living together uh, they are just like thinking about asking you to if you want to move in or for them to move in it just brings them joy to think about that uh, idea and if you are living together it's just they're just happy just happy in this situation Yeah, so this is uh, someone who's wanting it to take it to the next step. Uh, thinking about this, is there something they are wishing for? And just uh, hoping for you to say yes. They have given it a lot of thoughts. And... Uh, Yeah, they are a little bit worried because uh, it is the next step uh, of your answer but uh, they are so they are pretty sure that you will say yes so it doesn't have to be that you will move in together it just can mean the next step as well that they are thinking about taking it to the next uh, step uh, whichever your situation is um, and of course it comes with a little bit can we make it but they have really given it a lot of thoughts and in the end it is something that they want to do because it just brings them happiness so that's what I have for you Capricorn your person is thinking of taking this to the next step whichever uh, wherever you're at uh, I just hope um, or wishing that you will accept their offer they have given it a lot of thought so it's not just uh, uh, like the spring of the moment uh, so it's a well thought decision that they want to bring forth to you so that's what I have for you Capricorn thank you and bye Aquarius so let's see what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. So what are they currently feeling towards Aquarius at this moment in time? What are they feeling?
towards you, Aquarius. Right now, at this moment in time. What are you currently feeling? So Aquarius, I do see someone who's wanting to uh, start over and this time really work on the foundation of this uh, relationship or it doesn't, it can be uh, of course someone new here Aquarius that is uh, just filled with joy and wanting to uh, like work on this uh, this foundation as well so it can be a, a, a new person or a reconciliation with a child right here in the middle that you are dealing with it talks about uh, newness and uh, new beginnings so I will clarify a little bit more. Um, but it is some, it's with the bouquet here is some uh like sort of offer that they wanna uh, present you uh, it can be work on just to work on your relationship to it so it becomes stronger uh, that's what they want or it can uh, just be uh, like they want you to feel secure with them they want you to feel at home like uh to feel safe with them aquarius So this changes the energy. <laughs> no, uh, it is still someone who's. Uh, it can be someone new as uh, or a past person, but they want to offer you something more real because this uh, looks like you've been uh, just having uh, like exchanged passion between you guys. You've just been. Uh, maybe as a passionate uh, relationship or a situationship um, they do find you very attractive um, very alluring uh, And I do see this being you, someone uh, like independent, solid, uh, with a firm belief or just firm uh, stance in what you think and do. But overall, this person finds you very attractive and beautiful. Uh, I want to offer you something.
something more solid uh, what it seems like I see by the looks of it it's uh, been about passion and they do maybe they do want something more than that with the knight of pentacles yeah it's like they want to take a new path or new direction something more solid uh, with you Aquarius uh, but you are a very attractive person and they can't s stop thinking about you with the devil and the uh, okay here <sighs> that's what I have for you Aquarius Thank you and bye. Pisces. So, a person on your mind. Let's see what they are currently feeling towards you, Pisces. What are they currently feeling towards you? At this moment in time, what are they currently feeling towards you, Pisces? A person on your mind. What are they currently feeling? So Pisces there do have someone that's finding you very attractive and it's like they're falling uh, yeah they're starting to fall for you if today or this is someone hmm I'm not it's like they can see themselves falling in love with you uh, so maybe you don't uh, know them this well Pisces or it's just someone who's either way they do want to ask you out uh, we will clarify what is What's going on here for Pisces? What is what is this person feeling? So Pisces, uh, it's like this person, they do have lots of emotions towards you, but it's almost like they are self-sabotaging uh, this uh, relationship with the ideas or uh, illusions that they... Uh, that they put up in their mind by them themselves it's almost like you are not giving them you're not giving them any reason to think these thoughts but they are 
maybe they do see you uh, going out and just being uh, out in the public doing things uh, doing you but um, they might it's like they're creating this this uh, like you are doing things with other people it's that what they are thinking uh, and it's hurting themselves because they do believe that you are out doing things with others So this person is uh, is feeling kind of heartbroken over the illusions that is mm, that they created. Now, if this is true, if you are out and doing, going out on dates and seeing other people, uh, that just might be true. But they are picturing it in their head um. and it is the queen of pentacles she, 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 she likes to take care of herself she doesn't owe uh, anyone any explanation um, so Pisces you might uh, just be doing that going out on dates and living your life and this person is just uh, uh, is just watching you Yeah. I'm feeling betrayed and heartbroken over you, you moving on and if you are not doing anything with anyone then this person is just uh, imagining uh, that you are so that's what I had for you Pisces uh, either way they are heartbroken and feeling kinda <sighs> that you deceive them even though that you that they have no connection with you or maybe that you are not in a connection right now because you do have the Queen of Pentacles here or had but they are heartbroken and yeah they are just imagining the things. They may, they might be true. I don't know. You do, but yeah. Thank you and bye, Pisces.